Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, potentially mix it up with some hunters. Um, the reason being is because I need one more uh, weapon part, or weapons part, weapon parts, get it right, OG, uh, in order to make the recurve bow. Of course, we need 1,700 power, but I think we have 2,000 capacity. Oh, no, we only have 1,000 capacity. Oh, crap. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to make two more of those. Well, we're gonna need to do it anyway. So, okay. Well, maybe that's not gonna be our main priority today, just because we got to get those other power storage storages made before we can make the recurve. Okay, so yeah, that being the case, um, I think we're gonna we're gonna have a looting day today. Go out and do do the usual. Um, I currently have nitrate. Uh, or potassium um, being refined here. We're, we're starting to work on that. I got enough iron and copper to uh, do the three ingots that the bow will require when the time comes. But I guess the thing, yeah, we need to do is get some more of those. We're going to need more of these too. So I'll have to think about what our priorities are. We might wait a little bit longer on that and actually maybe start shooting for the fridge, which will require 1,200 power and 200 mass so we we can do 200 mass right now um but we're gonna, we can't do 1200 power till we make yet another one of those so this is actually probably going to be the next thing that we're going to make now we are also kind of getting to the point where we're going to have to start thinking about expanding the base as well uh, because you know we're continuing to add more equipment and you know this whole series well not the whole series but a central theme if you will of this series is to build a really cool base um so you know that is definitely going to happen as we go along uh, but it's not my intention to you know to take like three or four or five or six episodes and just do massive building all in a row we're going to kind of do it gradually as we go along because this game it, you know it works better to do it that way in this game based upon you know resource scarcity and and so forth okay so yeah that's the plan um so we do have a lock pick and we have it's early afternoon so we do have some time uh, we still have not found Charlie yet, um, and I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about where Charlie might even actually be, because we know that Alpha's over there and Bravo's over there, and um, so we want to keep, you know, the concern I'm, I'm having is that because we're so far towards the end of the map, that maybe Charlie glitched and isn't anywhere, uh, or maybe they spawn on the other side of the fence which probably isn't even possible uh i don't know but uh we'll you know we'll keep looking for them if it if it turns out i mean ultimately if it turns out that charlie is not in the game we're probably going to reset the hunters because we we need charlie in this game big time um they they are the ones that are going to give us by far the most loot um and they, they've just got to be in the game for us so we'll, we'll give it a little more time though and we'll see you know maybe they will appear at you know somewhere at some point and hopefully that will happen so we don't have to reset the hunters. Okay, so anyway, uh, I checked all the crops before I started the camera. Um, let's just, uh, I made a few more boards here. Let's just top off our fire. And I, I harvested uh, the trees on the island too before I started the camera. We got a full pick, we got a lock pick, we got a little extra rifle and ammo, but all of our weapons down here are already loaded. And I think we're ready to set out. So yeah, let's do that. And uh, we'll let that continue um doing its thing for now uh we can use the potassium for fertilizer in addition to gunpowder and so i'm going to make use of it in that capacity quite a bit more than i did in season uh one okay so let's head over here we do have an animal trap over here too that we can check and of course we will grab uh this our our garden our first garden plot is getting really close to harvest it should be ready to harvest I would, i'm guessing probably uh, either tonight or tomorrow in game and then uh, yeah, that way we can plant another thing of crops for that um i'm a little i'm not majorly concerned but i'm mildly concerned about cotton um and the fact that it's already september but uh, i think we'll be okay but we are definitely going to need more cotton before we can be ready for winter um and of course we still have to make the high uh or the the tier three clothing and the combat vest too so yeah lots to do lots to do let's see if our trap is Ooh, yeah i think we got something in the trap look at that 
We got a bunny in the trap. Okay. Um, let's go. Let's go ahead and take the rabbit back, and I'll grab some more bait for the trap and get that in, and then I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to proceed. Nice. Got a couple more nine mil rounds. Oh, we got company. Okay, here, run to the house quick. All right, let's let's get this bastard. All right, let's take a bandage. He's actually far enough away that I should probably have used the rifle. <laughs> okay. Hit another bandage so we don't bleed out. All right, that was most likely Bravo. Um, and let's also keep our eyes open for um, more. Of the, oh, good, we got that, the last weapons part. Fantastic. Okay, thanks, Bravo. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, so we got the last weapons part for the bow. So we, all we really need to do is make three ingots, which we already have the stuff for, but it's the power. Um, so we're not going to be able to actually make it until we get th uh, two more power storage tanks. So we're going to fast track that because I really want to get that recurve bow. It's just a nice improvement, you know, over the basic bow. All right, I'm kind of just watching here to see if we see any more of those guys come across water. It seems like so far, whenever they've attacked, they don't usually come together. They come like one at a time, which is really odd. Uh, it's, it's better for me, of course, uh, but... It, it just seems a little odd so um yeah we got uh we got thumped a couple of times there but we managed to take him out and we got uh, a shotgun shell and the uh, other weapons part out of the deal which isn't bad at all oh and i guess i guess we got some meat off that guy too didn't we um all right well it's it's starting to get on in the day so we might change our plans here i'm just gonna kind of keep watching out there but let's get um, let's get this meat on and put some of this stuff away and then I'm gonna uh, I need to run out to our trap and reset that so we will do that uh, this goes in here we're gonna keep the ammunition with us and this goes in there okay so I just want uh, two of these Is it, uh, yeah, it's shift, control, right click to, to move one at a time. These were all just sitting down here until we get the mass recycler built. Let's put that seaweed in there. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do with the seaweed is let's just eat it. Because we, we have four, uh, what are these called? Antidotes? Yeah. So we don't really need to hang on to, to kelp for making more of these anyways. And while we're here, let's also eat. No, actually, we're good. We're pretty good on fruits and veggies. Um, so we'll eat this bunny. And we'll probably hang on to the steak for now. All right, well, I don't see anybody else coming. So, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to run back over and rebate the trap and then maybe just... Harvest a little bit of wood and some crates right around there. And just hang out near the base. Maybe do a little bit of fishing or whatever. Um, and then when morning comes, we'll set out a bright and early in the morning and go uh, go looting and looking for another lock crate and doing all the fun stuff. Actually, before I let you go, let's just check these. Yeah, we, I mean, we got some carrots that are, that are already ready, but let's just wait till the whole thing's ready to go I keep <laughs> I keep watching over here to see if those guys are gonna come over here um, and this one is um, about 60% or so um, in fact this one could actually use some more water and we're just gonna water both of them and I'm gonna put some uh, fertilizer in those guys too anyway okay I will bring you guys back in the morning and we'll go out and have a nice wonderful looting day and keep looking for Charlie I'll bring you back before then of course if we get attacked okay see you in a bit 
All right, guys, it is morning. I uh, just went out and cut some wood. Uh, hit a couple of crates. Hit some potassium, that sort of thing. I'm not running the potassium anymore right now because I want that power to build back up. So let's see. We'll put all this stuff away here. Uh, nope, not throw away. Put away. A couple of comments you guys left while I was gone. Um, uh, whoop. Oh, maybe that's what's going on. I guess I'm out of space in here. Um... Let's grab this and this, and I think I'm going to keep the sticks with me. Let's get some feathers, too, so we can... Uh, let's just make a bunch of arrows with those. Uh, anyway, two, two comments. Um, you guys said that if I, if I make a half wall and then stick it here in the middle, then I can put another crate on top because I had mentioned something about stacking crates in an earlier episode. Uh, so that was that was good. And a few of you also confirmed that you indeed cannot uh, use animal traps on this island, that they do not work. So appreciate uh, the confirmation on that. Um, I have been actually gone in real life uh, for a week uh, and just got back today, and then I have to fly out again um, for work to Chicago. Um, so this is... I only have like a, a few a few hours right now to uh, get another video or two out before I leave again. And so by the time I get back from that, which is going to be April 3rd, I think it is, April 2nd, April 3rd, uh, we'll probably be pretty well caught up on the on the videos at that point, and then we'll just you know pick up from there. Uh, so again, everything uh, up to that point uh, is is pre-recorded just because I, I've essentially been gone for two weeks, even though I'm home. For a very short period of time before I have to go again. Uh, anyway, that's n n neither here nor there other than to just explain why, you know, these videos are pre-recorded. So, while I was gone the first time, uh, you guys left those comments and, um, again, confirmed that we can't do animal traps on this island. So, if you guys ever build on this island, uh, don't put an animal trap on it because it doesn't work. And uh, also talked about the shelves. Okay, I think we're in good shape. And uh, we're ready to go out and have get some loot um, I was gonna say have some fun and yes that is that exactly what we're ready to go out and do oh but you know what though before we before we actually do that I think we're gonna have some crops up above that are ready to go so let's check those first I'd like to cover um, some new terror or uncover I should say some new territory today um, which means we got to go further and further north um, no we were gonna go up this way and I missed the jump I might make like a little quarter panel to put here too, but this is really, really temporary. So I'm not, honestly, not too terribly worried about it. Let's jump up here. Uh, oh, is that not ready? I guess that one's not ready. Nope, I must have planted that at a later point in time. Okay, this stuff is still not ready, but oh, I guess it's in good shape though. I must have watered it. Yeah, that's in good shape, too. All right, so here's the thing. One of the the earliest, um, I guess we'll call mid-grade foods that we're going to be able to make in the game is liver and onions. So I want to kind of um, start prioritizing onions a little bit more than carrots. Carrots are fine for just eating straight up. Um, and onions are not quite as good as carrots for eating straight up. But what, what we do want to do with these, like I said, is we want to save them for... Um, for liver and onion. So I think what we're going to do, since these potatoes aren't ready yet, is let's just turn all of these into... Well, actually, hold on. Before we do that, let me see if I have any more seeds down here. Um, yes, we have a potato seed. We're not going to plant medicinal plant seeds. It's just not necessary. And that's really, I guess, about all we have. So knowing that, let's, um, let's make five onion seeds, and then we'll make six onion seeds and then we have the seventh potato seed and then we still have another potato that's still uh, that's up there not quite ready to go this we can put in here and those we can put in there okay let's get these planted uh i'm not fertilizing this the other the onion crop plot at this point i'm fertilizing this one because i need to get i want to get that cotton made asap and then when these when this potato matures, I'll probably just throw another onion in here too. Okay, so we're good. We're in good shape on the crops. 
Don't see any bad guys swimming across the water to get us. It's a little bit early yet for us to raid Bravo again. Um, they probably have their chest back up, but let's just give them another day or two before we go after them again. Okay, we're going to eat this meat because it is starting to to get on, and that gets our protein up really good. Uh, let's just grab a couple of carrots. Um, we'll eat one there. Let's eat two and a blueberry. No, let's just eat this last potato. And that should get us pretty good shape on fruits and veggies. And we'll drink another water. And get this in the fire and then we'll take off. We're waiting for this to build up so we can make another power storage. So we just have to wait for it to get to 500. And I'm just going to let that happen naturally uh, and not, you know, not run this. Let's top off our fire. And we are good to go, folks. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Nothing happening on that side. Um, we have... I just want to check and see if there's any crates that have spawned on the island here. I'm not, not going to worry about the wood. We'll start picking that up, too, because that's what we do. I've got it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ammo crate. Come on, give us some shotgun shells or some magnum rounds or something good. Well, I got rifle rounds. I'll take those. I will take those. Um, I'm going to start turning fiber into fuel logs because we've got over a full stack of cordage right now. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start doing that. Let's just put that stuff in there. No reason for us to take it out with us. And now let's get out of here. Okay. So the plan for today is, like I said, to try and uncover some new territory and, as always, continue to uh, keep our eye open for, look at that, um, you know, for Charlie. I really hope Charlie is in the game somewhere and we don't have to reset the hunters. Just because, you know, we shouldn't have to do that. They're, they're in the game and we should be working with them as they are. Now, if we do end up resetting them... What that basically means, as far as I understand it, is, you know, that means then we have to wait for them to build up again before we can start raiding them again. And yeah, it does give us a bit of a reprieve from them, but it also takes away that opportunity, you know, to get uh, the loot from them that we need. So it's kind of a mixed bag, I guess. All right. Anything else? Is that a, a kelp there? No. No, it's just a smudge. A smudge on the bottom of the water that made it look like a kelp. Yes, we will, <laughs> we will get off the island here. It'll happen. But we might as well drop those off. Let's just eat these now. To top off our carbs even more. And now we're going to go. Okay. I promise. We're leaving. We're not coming back unless we get attacked while we're swimming across the water. There's a bear over there that we're going to have to, and a wolf looks like, to, that we have to watch out for. So what I think we'll do is, let's see if we can make it all the way up to Ortastic, uh, which is way up in the north, and kind of kind of finish uncovering the northeastern part of the map, and then, you know, start working our way more westerly. All right, I'm not seeing anything over there. We have the bear and the wolf over here, so we're going to go up and around this way to get around those guys. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I should have. I didn't check to see where the rogues were during the night. All right, well, we run into them, we kill them. That's all there is to it. It's as simple as that. Or we be killed. It's either kill or be killed. I should probably start thinking about making a couple more medipacks now that we have the resources for that. So that's on the to-do list when we get back to the base. Oh, look at that. Nice. Protein bar. Beautiful. I hang on to the medicinal seeds because we can feed those into our mass recycler once we get it set up. Just kind of looking out over this way to see if we can spot any ore deposits. And... Again, like I said, because I didn't check to see where the rogues are, we're going to have to really be watching out for those guys, too. We don't want to just run headlong into them. There is an ore over there. It's either an iron or potassium. But 
There's also the barren wolf over in this area. Uh, no, that's actually a zinc. And here comes the storm. Okay. I don't see anything down there. There's a fiber plant on the beach, but I'm not too worried about that. Fiber's not that hard to come by in this game. Uh, I may be wrong about this, but I thought I have heard that it used to not be that way. It used to be harder to find, and then Cold Games did an update to make it a little more abundant. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but those of you who are watching the series and have been playing this game for a long time, let us know in the comments if that was indeed the case. But I've never had any trouble whatsoever finding fiber in this game and finding it, you know, enough of it. But I've only been playing it for a relatively short period of time, too. There's an ore on top of there. It's probably a potassium, but it could be an iron. It's okay, we need this too, man. Gunpowder and fertilizer. It's a very useful resource in this game. Okay, let's head on up this way. We are going to, as usual, pass by um, the arches. It's a little bit early for us to be killing a chicken. I think I'm going to just let that one go for now. Okay, it looks like we have iron up there, and there's a crate right there. Just want to kind of pop my head up over the top of the ridge here and make sure there's no rogues or critters that may want to devour our physical personal bean. There we go. Give us some iron, baby. Okay, we have a scrap metal here and a fiber plant. And this is locked crate territory, so we want to be looking out for those too. Okay, there's a wolf over that way. A little bit early, like I said, to be killing critters. The ideal looting trip in this game is loot in the morning and hunt in the afternoon. You know, while you're making your way. Okay, I hear, I think, gunfire? Over that way. Oh, interesting. Okay. At first I thought maybe they were cutting a tree, but that sounds like it could be more like gunfire. So let's investigate that. But we do have to stay away from that bear, and we have some more iron here, which we want to definitely grab. Okay. So I heard the gunfire off to the west. Got a wolf over that direction. There they are. Or there. Yeah. I see two hunters. Most likely they are rogues. I think that's a rogue with a combat vest on. Or two rogues with combat vests on. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't see any structure near them, but that doesn't mean it isn't there. It could be just out of our line of sight. There's a medical chest up there. Kind of an odd place for it. Wow, look at those nails. Take them. All right, that looks like zinc. I 
I think we'll leave the zinc there for now. Only because I want to I want to make a little more progress today on getting our ter territory covered. Let's see. Eh, I don't know where the sun is. I think it's it's probably about noon right now. Let's wait just a little bit longer before we start hunting. Okay, I'm going to circle around this way. And just see if we can spot a structure. The thing about Charlie is their, you know, their structure, I mean, by now, if they are in the game, uh, their structure will be unmistakable. It'll, at the very least, be several foundations laid out on the ground. Uh, if not already, you know, starting to be walled up and stuff. Uh, so it's definitely larger than the other two. And the other two are well on their way to, you know, being built up. So we have to be careful because we got enemies or critter, well, critter enemies over that way. All right, let's just duck down and kind of peek up over the top of this little ridge here. And look. So those guys were kind of around over in there, I believe. All right. Here, let's get out of here. I don't want to mess with that guy, especially the, not this close to the hunters. Bugger off, wolf. Is that iron? It is. All right, I don't want to... Well, no, I think that's potassium. Okay, let's just leave it since the wolf's there. I'd grab it if he wasn't, but... We have two... Ore nodes up here. Is he still following us? I've been surprised by wolves that I thought had stopped following me before, and it's not a good situation. All right, let's get this chicken. He's up there. Okay, so we have iron and potassium here. Let's grab it. Um, that could be a little interesting to get to. high up for us to jump and grab it. Can I get up here? No. Nope. Let's go around this way. Uh. Yikes. Ugh. I don't want to break my leg, man. Yeah. Uh, let's just not mess with that. If I really tried hard enough, I could probably figure out a way to get it, but daylight's a-wasting, you know what I mean? Daylight's a-wasting, and it's not even iron. Okay, let's stop here by this boulder. Oh, we're up against the fence. All right. I thought we were actually further west than this, but I guess we're not. That's not a bad thing, though, because we actually want to work our way up this direction anyway. Yeah, okay, good. So let's just kind of actually cut to the west now. The goal here is, you know, to uncover a little bit more of the map, a little more, a little bit more of the fog of war. Uh, eventually we'll get it all uncovered, you know, but the more you uncover, then the more you can reconnoiter at night to see where the rogues are and stuff. Yeah, 
There's a rabbit. And a level three bear near the rabbit. Let's hope he goes the other direction. He doesn't. Um, come on, bear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nope. Go the other way. Rather not waste two shotgun shells on you. I probably would have to use two on him. Good. Okay. Rabbit's still alive. So it'll stay fresh a little bit longer. And the bear heard something, but he hasn't actually spotted us, so he's not tracking. All right. Okay, good. The rain stopped. I'm going to come around this way. Okay, so this is about as far north as we've been so far in uh, Season 2 here. We got another crate over this way. We had a multiplayer server for a short period of time, and uh, we had our base up this direction when that was going on. Ooh, way overshot that guy, didn't I? Shoot. Shoot is what I did, just not very well. There we go. Good, chicken's alive. Uh, ooh, another chicken, okay. And another bear near the chicken, just like before. Oh no, that's a wolf. Okay. And there's some ore, a couple things of ore there. Um, let's dispatch this wolf. Couldn't see him because of the stupid uh, bushes. And we're going to need to make another bandage now. Okay. Uh, where did our chicken go? Here he is. Thank goodness that bar shows up or it'd be really hard to find some of these dudes. Okay, we got a crate over there. Let's hit that. I know I haven't forgotten about the ore. Oh, okay, we're under attack, but we are too far away to do anything about it. So let's just hope the base can withstand the assault until we can get back, and then we'll have to fix it up. That's the problem with you know with the random attacks in this game. Well, any attacks in this game is that you know when you're this far away from the base, you, there there there's nothing you can do about it. Even if I started running back now at full speed and made a straight beeline for the base, they'd be done by the time I got back. So all we can do is hope that it holds up. Then we'll fix it when we get home. Okay, we got a bear over that way. Let's move this direction. I thought I saw a crate over here. Um, did I? Oh, maybe I did and it despawned. I don't know. Thought I did. It's getting really late. We're definitely going to be running back in the dark, but I'll just run along the fence. Another live chicken. Okay. Bear over that way. He heard us, but he didn't spot us. All right, where are we at? Oh, 
Okay, if we turned and started heading southeast back towards the base, we'd uncover that territory. Problem is, we got a bear right there. Um, so this is Ortastic here. That's not what Cold Games calls it. I don't think, anyway. Uh, but it's what a lot of veteran players of the game have named this spot. Yeah, there's a bear over that way. So this is kind of a cool place because it's a, it's actually a cave. Um, and you know, you could, you could build a base inside of here and then, you know, defend it from both sides. The problem with it though, and the problem we had in season one is there's no water nearby. So you'd have to haul all your water in and that is a pain in the neck. Take it from me. I know. Here, let's get this down here. We got to get our hands washed here pretty soon, but we're pretty close to the lake. All right, we got a level one wolf there, which we could probably kill if we have to. I want to get up on top of the rock to see, uh, to get some more ore. There's a crate and a level two wolf over that direction. Oh, it's getting dark. There's a crate there. All right, good. Okay, let me look at the map here. So the lake's basically just right about here. We need to make our way to it because we've got to wash our hands. Uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, let's let's eat this. Let's turn, uh, let's butcher you and you to free up some space. And we'll butcher you too, I guess. Uh, we'll leave the live chickens alive. And uh, we're going to eat all of these blueberries because we're really low on carbs. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get cold too. Okay. Um. All right. So what I'm gonna do is put this on our toolbar here, so we can kind of see what we're doing. We need to work our way down to the water to wash our hands, and then we need to head home. We are getting cold, so hopefully we don't get so cold that we lose a ton of health and become in a perilous can, uh, situation. I'm trying to say. My plan was to just run back along the fence, which it still is uh, the plan. But I guess I didn't factor in having to wash the blood off my hands first and co coming all this way to the lake to do that. Okay, hands are washed. We don't need to worry about antidote. Now, let me think about this. I mean, we could... We could just make a beeline straight back. Um, oh, there's a campfire right there. Right behind us. Look at that. That's gotta be rogues, though, because... Well, is there a structure there? I've never seen the hunters build this far away. Uh, yeah, I seriously doubt that those are the hunters. Rutting season has begun. Oh my goodness, I hope we don't run into a moose tonight. That would not be a good situation. No sirree, Bob. All right, well, I'll tell you what, you guys. I'm going to run straight back to the base and uncover territory and just be as careful as I possibly can be. I'm not going to harvest anything or hunt anything. We're just going to try and make it home. And that's our second base attack. Yay. Uh, so we'll <laughs> want to see what kind of shape our base is in when we get back. Okay, so the rain has stopped, but I am rapidly losing health here. So we are going to make ourselves a campfire. Thank goodness the rain did stop. 
And we happen to have some matches here. And we'll put some wood in. And let's cook up some meat. Ooh, man, we are down to six health. Not good. Okay, now it's coming back up. Yeah, that got, that got a little close there. Not a little close. So we're going to just kind of hang out by the fire here. Hopefully it doesn't start raining again. Uh, warm up, and we'll also be able to replenish our, our our protein. Our carbs are not in too bad a shape. Don't. Oh, we do have one thing of kelp, so let's eat that too. Uh, so we should be all right as long as we don't, you know, run into... An enemy that kills us uh, at least in terms of the weather I think we'll we'll make it back okay okay guys so we spent the night um, by the fire it is now dawn uh, we warmed up we replenished our nutrition I don't have anything to drink that's the, really the main reason why we we do need to still get back but what I'm gonna do on the way back is try and uncover uh, some more fog of war and since we still have some more inventory space we'll grab a few more things too so basically what we're going to do is run i might run kind of back up this way at least a little ways to uncover this and then when we come back you know cut through here and get all that part uncovered and then uh you know head back to the base at that point because i think I, I don't think i can really be out any longer than that in terms of our hydration unless i luck out and find like a water bottle in a bush uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go here I'll keep the camera running if something crazy happens and or if we run into a lock pick well actually or sorry lock crate actually if we run into a lock crate, I'll just show that to you in the next episode so guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode uh, that rabbit saw us and ran off how rude